Hey everybody, welcome back to The Way of Ramen. Sorry I've been gone for a bit. I just moved back into my home after about a week of treating it for powder post beetles. I haven't really had time to get into the kitchen yet, but I wanted to share this quick video that I shot before I left um, of my favorite instant ramen. It's by a company called Itsuki Shokuhin, and it's a tonkotsu style instant ramen. Uh, if you like tonkotsu ramen, this is pretty awesome. If you can find it near you, give it a try, and I think you'll really like it. So let's get right into it. So this is a tonkotsu style bowl, so I'm just going to try to do some easy tonkotsu style toppings. I'm going to cut up some green onion here and cut up some wood ear mushrooms or rehydrated wood ear mushrooms. Now, wood ear mushrooms are called kikurage in Japanese and it's a very common topping for tonkotsu style ramen. I'm just going to take them here and saute them in sesame oil for about a minute, minute and a half. If you let them go too long like I did here, they start to pop like firecrackers and they can get kind of dangerous. Just like any other type of instant ramen, you're gonna to need to boil some water to cook the noodles. And also, just like any other instant ramen, in the package there's a soup packet and some noodles. But what makes Itsuki ramen unique is the noodles. Um, they're like straight noodles, kind of like Japanese somen noodles, instead of that block of fried noodles that you normally get. So once the water is boiling, you just drop the noodles in and cook them for about two and a half minutes. The package says that this is Kyushu style tonkotsu ramen. So the noodles look the part. I mean, in Kyushu tonkotsu, you'll often see these low hydration, very thin noodles. And I think these noodles go a long way to making the bowl look more like real ramen and less like instant ramen. So after about two and a half minutes, you turn off the heat and just like any other instant ramen, you add the soup packet and mix it in. And that's pretty much it. Just pour it into a bowl and top it with whatever kind of toppings you like. Like I said earlier, I tried to go with some classic tonkotsu style toppings that I could make or just easily have on hand. So I went with some wood ear mushrooms, some green onion, some chashu that I made for a previous video, and a soft boiled egg. And even after eating this so many times, I'm still blown away by how it really doesn't look like instant ramen. And as far as the taste, it tastes great. It kind of tastes similar to the video that I made with the soy milk and instant ramen, but a little less sweet and more tonkotsu -ish flavor. It's probably as close as you can get to tonkotsu ramen without actually boiling pork bones for hours. If you can find this type of itsuki ramen or any type of itsuki instant ramen, not just your tonkotsu, you should give it a try. I mean, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just really like their ramen. But let me know what your favorite instant ramen is. And maybe there's something out there that's better than this that can take my number one spot as my favorite instant ramen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I just got to move back into my house, so I'll be setting up and getting ready to shoot more videos for you guys in the very near future. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you all in the next video.